you're a stunning beauty, <laughs> if I may say. But there are people out there that do look like actual monsters before they dress up. What if they want to do some sexy version of their costume? This can also be extremely traumatic for everyone. Would you enforce restrictions on those who aren't already sexy? No, I mean, look at Madonna. She used to be sexy, and then she had too much plastic surgery, and now she's not sexy anymore. I would help her get sexy again. Yeah, but do you think, like, we're ready to see Madonna try to be sexy? That might traumatize me. Are you judging an older woman? No, no, a gross-looking woman would be probably, preferably one with too much plastic surgery well, would be there the idea. Well, are, there are, there's makeup techniques I have. <laughs> there's a full face mask. Yeah. yeah. She you, still has beautiful legs. She fair. can show. I mean, don't get me wrong. This isn't a sexist thing. This could be men, too. Say there's a, a men with a very grotesque, uh, you know, feature, and uh, maybe he shouldn't look sexy and showcase it. If I may. Uh, you know what else uh, has a full facial mask that can help you on Halloween? A mask. An <laughs> ugly, horrible mask that actually will sort of level the playing field of this lookist ap- uh, sort of aspect of the holiday, wherein, of, of course, also, it could be men, it could be women, it could be non-binary people, but women, historically, non-men, have been the most judged for their looks. So all I want for Madonna and for everyone out there uh, across the looks, which are also subjective spectrum, Yep. is for this is another this is wasn't my main point to begin with but Halloween <laughs> offers uh, a leveling of the playing field yes. so that everyone can be equally ugly and scary and looking and sexy yeah. well here Tina this is where this sort of question and line question came from because uh, recently due to a pretty intense fight uh, with uh, Sam's ex uh, she leaked nudes of him on the internet and what? I don't like to be graphic on this show, but I notice that your front genital is similar to a duck's in which it's shaped like a corkscrew. By chance, would that abnormal shape for a penis make you feel uncomfortable with wearing sexy clothing in public? Maybe your stance is less about tradition and more about your insecurity or twirly dong. Um, th- how did you find out about that? And uh, <laughs> I have to talk to that ex. I, this is just breaking news, just finding out about it now. Yep. But uh, that notwithstanding... Uh, Regardless, but it, that is sort of a point for you against you because say you know he doesn't want to showcase that feature or wear tight fitting clothes. Why make the assumption that his genitals are scary? They well, could be sexy to he some. He could be insecure about it. Uh, just to be clear, uh, my I everything is normal, and uh, <laughs> I, I mean everything is natural. And ducks have beautiful. Look, the point you is you can wear this on your body parts. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, apparently, opening up a wine bottle too. Right. <laughs> let the record show uh, that your this lovely nurse has handed me a, a mask right. for my genitals, and which is fine. We're not we're not genital shaming here, but yeah. I can understand people having something different than others that they don't want to wear tight costumes or sexy revealing costumes if they feel insecure by just just want to say this that the <laughs> what's going on inside me is not the issue what's going on outside me is 100 percent the issue and that's <laughs> yeah. always the case whenever anyone has uh, anger or sadness about things going on in the world it's never about what's going on inside them so i don't even know why you would bring up my own internal experience but this does <laughs> raise something interesting really also. fast we yes. have a, a, a department in our hospital that's good at like surgically reshaping yeah duck Stre- size maybe stretching duck- it out yeah. yeah we have you should come to guatemala i'm just saying like <laughs> yeah. there's okay. a lot of scary things there too <laughs> I'm, I'm i appreciate Madonna that had a lot of plastic surgeries you know she could give you some she tidbits. didn't come to guatemala yeah. yeah uh yeah i i appreciate it without uh nothing on the record here uh everything everything is fine but i will take your contact information all, all i want to say is <laughs> just because there's a third world country doesn't make the doctors their quacks uh. 